So I have Morgan posted about two chapters at a time. It's a uh, total of over 200 pages. So at the end of each section will be a couple of photographs of the following uh, chapters to help uh, entice you to keep reading. That's Thurlow Weed. Look at those eyes. Now he says he wasn't a Mason. He was the first candidate of the anti-Masonry party. Really this is a kidnapping involving a kind of ritual murder. You can learn about there's a host of people involved in this. There's a Sheriff Bruce, the town Leroy, a large number of Freemasons like Erasmus Turner, Sheriff Bruce, Knight Templar, involves crossing over into Canada. That's Thurlow in 1843. You'll learn how Freemasonry infects every aspect of life in America. The legal system, the judges, the sheriffs, everyone under them, most lawyers, most publishers, the transportation and media systems, they're all controlled and owned almost entirely by Freemasons. I'm posting all of Thurlow Weed's version of the Morgan Affair in text, no music, but uh, time standing still has light on masonry. So between these two books, you can see what masonry and Mormonism is all about. There are pre-Mormons involved in the Morgan Affair.